So if you want to know how old a tree was, and you've got the stump available, all you have to do is count the rings into the middle. But how do we know how old a living tree is? So we already know how to work out how old a tree is by its dead stump and the rings inside it. But how do we know how old a living tree is? So um, all you've got to do is get a tape measure and measure the circumference of the tree at your shoulder height, which isn't very tall for me. And this is in centimetres. So this tree is 96 centimetres. So then we've got this really nifty little document from um, the New Forest National Park, which you can download for free. And all we've got to do is measure the girth of the tree, which we just did in centimetres, and then we've got to divide it by the correct number in this table. So we've got oak, hazel, elm, ash, beech, holly, yew, pine, spruce and sycamore. This tree is an oak, we can tell this by its leaves. So we need to divide our 96 centimetres of um, girth by two, and then we know how old it is. So this is a really cool plant because you can see that it's evolved to survive animals like elephants and rhinos, because we actually used to have elephants and rhinos in the UK. So that's really cool. Natural protection. If you're out and about and you want to identify a species but you're not sure of what it is, there's this really cool app that you can download for free called Seek. And all you have to do is look at the plant using your camera on your phone with the Seek app and it will identify um, anything from the species to the genus to the family and then you can work out what plant that you're looking at which is really cool. One of our favourite trees in the wood because it looks a bit like a rhino. So this is our favourite tree in our local woodland and it's a pine tree and you can see it's really old and established because of how big the trunk is and it's massive. But some horrible person last year decided to set it on fire and that's why there's cement there. So please don't set trees on fire because they're very important and we love them.